he's just called Cat. It's like his parents couldn't even be bothered to name him. Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to another random genetics challenge cat version here on my channel. So I did the dogs version last weekend, I think it was, and you guys freaking loved it. The views were like insane. And I saw a lot of people doing videos saying that they were inspired by my version of it. So thank you to everyone who watched that video. I mean, the dogs were pretty funky. So I'm kind of hoping that the cats go in the same direction. Or maybe the cats will be kind to us and won't like scratch us in the back like the dogs did. So this is the random genetics challenge. For those of you who don't know, you basically randomize everything you possibly can on the sim or cat or dog three times to end up with a fun mixture of two parents and then have to create children from it. So we're gonna go one, two, three, patches. One, two, three. Patches Brayden, you have quite a normal name. You already look like quite the character. You're very cross-eyed. I kind of love it. Her traits, we are gonna give her the mischievous trait, the glutton trait, and the fluffy trait, which is gonna be, uh, please don't vomit. Uh, uh, uh. The hacking. The hacking. It's disgusting. You're a gross cat. I was about to say you're a gross human being, but you aren't a human being. So this is Patches. Those are her traits. Fluffy, glutton, and mischievous. We are also gonna randomize her voice. One, two, three. Okay, so you sound like you smoke about 50 a day, which is fine. You could be a smoker if you want to. I'm not judging you. Breed, we're gonna start off with randomizing the breed first. One, two, three. We have a oriental short hair. It's actually pretty cool looking. You're like a little mini tiger. I love it. Body, one, two, three. Okay, pretty standard body, not gonna lie. Tail, there are only two tails to choose from. One, two, three. It's just long, that's fine coat and colour pattern. This is where it gets interesting. One, two, three. And I have seen quite a few of these videos. I have actually watched quite a few of them since I did mine. And people don't really tend to randomise these, but I think that adds to the fun. So they kind of just randomize the coat um, instead of the actual like colors and stuff but here we like to randomize everything that's possible so that we turn up with green shamrock pea dogs who also look like broccoli <laughs> if you haven't seen my dog's random genetics i highly suggest you go watch it one two three okay that's pretty normal one two three again fairly normal one two, three. Green spots, one, two, three. Okay, not as green as it originally was. You kind of look like a backwards cat. I feel like you should have darker spots and lighter under fur, but hey, we can live with this. You're looking... I mean, not super normal, but pretty normal. I'm not judging you just yet, Patches. Your name is very fitting currently. One, two, three. <gasps> we didn't get the hairless ball sack. Oh, thank goodness for that. Pet clothing, we're not gonna put any clothing on. And then let's move into the face. So head shape, one, two, three. Ah, oh, you're quite cute is one, two, three. Oh, you look like a little teddy bear. You have like the face of a raccoon. One, two, three. Oh, you're cute. I like you. Rainbow whiskers, rainbow whiskers, rainbow whiskers. One, two, three. Oh, we got green whiskers. I really wanted the rainbow whiskers, damn it. And eyes, one, two, three blue eyes. You are not half bad. 
I think you turned out pretty cute. I got worried at the green, but you know, it brings out your whiskers, so I can't really be mad. So this is our female. This is Patches Brayden, and then we are going to make her male counterpart. I actually want to call him Brayden because I want them to be like married, I suppose. Cats can't get married, but hey, <laughs> we'll say that they can. His name is going to be one, two, three, Joey! Joey Brayden. Why do you sound like an American footballer? What the heck? One, two, three. Pretty standard meow. And traits. Uh, I didn't pick one. Oops. My word. Free spirit. Mischievous. You and your- Don't. Don't do a- Too late. Too late. You already did one. And friendly. So you have a mixed trait with your lady friend. That's pretty cute. But now let's get into the randomization. This is where it all goes terribly, terribly wrong. Breeds. One. Two. Three. So we ended up with an American short hair. We, we're repping the short hairs today on the cat breeds. One, two, three. Ooh, you're slim. You're a slim Jim. Why does my cat have the body shape of Bob Belcher? Like, seriously, <laughs> does this not just look like Bob's body? What the hell? I love it. Oh my goodness. That's like the potato version of a sim, but in cat form. Really skinny shoulders and then like really wide hips. Male sims always have that in my game. One, two, three. Your tail didn't change at all which is fine. To be fair, there's only from two, so that's fine. One, two, three. Oh god, that's a lot of random colours to choose from. Oh no, this is where it gets bad. The, whatever, like, however many numbers you have here, the more likely you are to get a bad one, because the chances are just higher. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. What is going on? They have like the similar colour pattern. One, two, three. Oh, wow. You are... you're pretty random. Although you're pretty cute. Like, I can't even deny it. You're very colourful. It kind of just looks like someone's just, like, thrown paint all over you. <laughs> but you're... you're unique. You know? You're a unique cat. Moving on to the first. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, oh, you're nice and fluffy now. And we'll leave pet clothing again. And let's go on to his facial details. Head shape, one, two, three. <gasps> the grumpy cat! Yay! You're so cute! I actually love him. One, two, three. Oh, he's got a little fall down his. He looks so unimpressed. He's like, no, someone legit did just throw paint over me. This is not my natural look. You can just imagine him being white all over and then someone's literally just taken paint and gone like, here you go, Joey. <laughs> Do it yourself. One, two, three. Oh, you have a very tiny nose, sir. Whiskers, rainbow whiskers, please. One, two, three. Oh, we got blue ones! It brings out the blue of your fur. And eyes, one, two, three. Oh my word, you look like the grumpiest cat ever. You look majestic. Joey, you are magnificent. Let me just tell you, your children are going to be beautiful. So this is the part of the challenge where we breed these two together and get a son and a daughter. So we're gonna play with genetics and we're gonna add the female as the parent as well and we're gonna randomize their daughter three times. One, two, three. 
Oh, she looks like her mum, but she has her dad's blue whiskers and her dad's eyes, like eye colour. A lot of you guys were telling me to age the kittens or the puppies in the last part up to adults, but they don't really look any different, but I will do it for you guys. Let me just give her her traits first. She's frisky. She takes after her dad and her mum. She's mischievous and oops, I clicked off it. Oops, I clicked off it again. And she's friendly. So she has a like a mix of her parents' traits, which is pretty cool. And her name is going to be Bubbles. Bubbles, darling. So this is little Bubbles. I will age her up into a cat for you guys to see what she looks like. She definitely has the face of her dad, but the colorings of her mum. So this is what she looks like as an adult, but I am going to leave her as a kitten. I think it's a girl. Yes, it is. So this is their daughter. And then let's see what their son would look like. We're going to breed with the dad again. And then we're going to go for a boy this time. One, two, three. Okay, so the mum seems to have like the most dominant genes of these two because both the son and the daughter look more like her than they do actually the daughter looks like their dad facial wise um, but she has the dominant coat colors he is frisky again oh my goodness I need to stop clicking off it he's a prowler and he's I don't know what that was on oh my goodness Molly you need to calm down Fluffy. Okay, there we go. And your name, sir, is Cat. Just Cat. You're just Cat, okay? Are you gonna be okay with- I love how he's just called Cat. It's like his parents couldn't even be bothered to name him. So they were just like, Cat, you shall be Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. You are definitely the forgotten child of the family. I feel so sorry for you. And as an adult, he again looks like his dad. So th the dad definitely has the dominant face genes um, and the mum has the dominant fur. These definitely looked more like their parents than the puppies did, so we can say that about them. He's so cute as a kitten. That, I feel, wasn't as random. I feel like the dad definitely got the short straw, or as you could say in this case, the short hair of the pack. So he was definitely the worst off. I'm kind of glad the kids didn't end up with his colour pattern. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you try it out in your own games, do tag me on Twitter at English Simmer. Send your pictures over to me because a lot of you did for the dogs and I absolutely love seeing what the game comes up with in these random genetics challenges. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Challenge some of your favourite Sims YouTubers to do this challenge if you want to see it. I'm sure they will come up with some crazy little kittens and puppies in their game. But thank you all so so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!